What's up, Persona Gaming? Uh, my name is Sage, and I'll be doing commentary for you guys today. Um, first off, if you don't know, I was picked as a sponsor, um, so now I will be posting videos on uh, this channel. So hope you guys enjoy these. Um, so for my first video, uh, I thought um, I'd start off with a bang here. So I've got a nuke gameplay for you guys, and uh, I'm using the intervention. <clears throat> um, the intervention is uh, basically a replacement of the M40 in this game. It's the only bolt action rifle, <clears throat> and uh, it's a good gun if you know how to use it. Um, I'm using sleight of hand and stopping power, as well as Ninja Pro. Um, sleight of hand on the sniper rifles is really helpful because uh, you can get into your scope a lot quicker, and uh, it can save your it, it can save your life uh, quite a few times. So. Uh, Right now, um, Wasteland is a really weird map to play. It's a uh, it's completely open, and uh, you're you're basically a target for every sniper on the map. And uh, when you shoot somebody and you get a hit marker like that, um, and you know that they're not going anywhere, um, always make sure to uh, take your time. And uh, stuff like this you can't avoid. Um, <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh, he is uh, quite the camper, but. Uh, that's something that you don't want to do in this game because, uh, as you'll see, I got my revenge back on him. And uh, fortunately, that is uh, my only death, um, considering if uh, you're only talking about other players killing me. But uh, anyway, as I was saying, uh, this map is a pretty weird map to play. It's really open, and like I said, you're a target for any sniper on the map, so uh, you always want to make sure that you do have cover. Um, I don't really suggest running through the middle and down through the bunkers. Um, I, re I really suggest using a sniper rifle or an assault rifle and uh, staying to the outskirts of the map and uh, finding cover because uh, that can also save you. And as you can see, this guy, he's just totally scoped in the whole time. He's never even pulling out of, your, out of his scope. And uh, that's one thing that I really do suggest that uh, everybody does when they snipe is uh, always routinely just pull out of your scope and just take a look around because that can save you uh, from getting tunnel vision, and, and uh, tunnel vision is when you just stay in your scope, and that's all you ever see the whole game is uh, <laughs> the map through that little tunnel. And uh, so right now, um, one of my teammates has a Harrier up, and it's getting all the kills, and I'm not happy about that because <laughs> I want some kills too. And uh, so as you can see, I'm really staying to the outskirts of the map, and uh, I'm trying to find cover. Um, all the time when I'm out here because uh, I don't want to get sniped or anything and uh, this map can be really frustrating because a lot of times you can just spawn and just get sniped because it is so wide open and the one thing about this map is if you get a kill streak it's really powerful on this map um, as soon as you get a kill streak you're basically on a roll if uh, none of them have a javelin or a stinger missile which uh, happened in this game <laughs> um, you will see in a bit that uh, my kill streaks really uh, dominate on this map because it is so open. There's no places really to hide, and uh, if you're going for a nuke, uh, I really suggest that you do it on this map because it's probably one of the easiest maps to get a nuke on. So uh, right now, my teammate now has his pave low out, and uh, that's even taking more kills. So I'm not even getting many kills right now. Um, I'm just looking. Looking around for some kills because, you know, I'm hungry for kills here. <laughs> and, uh, when you're uh, using sleight of hand, um, make sure that, uh, you uh, pick out your shots. Um, you don't want to shoot at everything that you see. Um, as I said in a couple of my other videos, people do tend to play on, uh, on sight alone in this game. And, uh, you really want to try to pick out your targets. Especially if you have sled of hand because you don't have that much ammo and uh, you want to conserve it as best you can. Um, as you can see, my uh, ammo went, uh, dwindles down pretty quickly here. Um, I'm only down to 9 shots right now. And uh, I guess that guy was looking for a UAV or something. <laughs> but it made for easy quick kill. Um, so, uh, I. Also, um, when I'm on a map like this where it's just really open and it's really circular, um, I tend to go in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion around the map 
Um, what this does for me is it just keeps me it just keeps me moving and uh, just prevents me from staying in one spot too long and uh, that can save you from dying sometimes because uh, people do take this game pretty seriously and uh, they like their revenge <laughs> and uh, if you kill somebody most likely uh, they're gonna try to come back for you if they're near you and uh, if you just keep on moving the whole time you know that's not gonna happen and right here I never knew about that one <laughs> I never knew about that spot right there. I, I, I guess I couldn't jump over it or something. But luckily, my teammate saves me, which I'm very uh, grateful for. Because uh, in this game, um, teammates usually don't seem to save you. <laughs> A lot of times, it just seems that uh, you'll die, and then the teammate kills the, the person that killed you. And uh, this is also a good spot to go snipe from. A lot of people do like to go in these bunkers, and that's why I said uh, I want to suggest going in them because a lot of people just run through the bunkers and uh, makes for an easy target when they're coming out. Um, but yeah, um, on this map I do suggest a sniper or an assault rifle. Um, any kind of sniper works really. Uh, I just like the intervention because it does kill a lot quicker because it is a bolt action. And uh, now I got my hair shake, so this is where the game gets fun, <laughs> or, or boring, uh, depending on what you consider as fun. Um, I get a lot of kills. I think I got four kills with my hair shake, and now I got my chopper gunner. And uh, a lot of people say that the chopper gunner is overpowered, and I'll tell you what, in this game that I'm playing right here, it is overpowered because nobody wants to take it out. Um, you know, uh, all I can say about people saying that they're uh, that the kill streaks are overpowered is um, it's just like World at War. Um, if you're gonna complain about the tank, you know, have a have a class to take it out. Um, if you're gonna complain about the kill streaks, have a class to take them out because they are pretty easy to take out. All you need is a stinger missile or two, and the, the kill streaks are out of the sky, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. And uh, I got my nuke here, and now I'm just uh, waiting to. <laughs> and uh, I think I get taken out like right here. Yep. And here's the nuke. Yeah, this is my second nuke. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't use the nuke a lot because uh, I, I do like long games. But I decided I wanted to get a nuke here. So uh, here you guys go. And that's the end of the game. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, final score is 39 and two. Later.